So a while back, Taylor and I were camping up on the side of a mountain, and in the morning when we went to start the truck to leave, we found out the battery was, I need to shave right there. That's better. And so the truck battery was dead, and we had to try to start it, and it wouldn't start, and we had to go down the hill. It's a whole video, you could go check it out. I'll link it right up there. But anyways, after that, we bought this backup jump starter. I think it can even do like, you know, a large diesel truck. But our friends here, I asked them if there uh, was anything that wasn't working or anything like that. They said their lawnmower wasn't working and we think it's a battery issue. So I'm gonna actually test out uh, this jump starter today. The Micro Start XP10 Jump Starter Personal Power Supply anti-gravity batteries. Got this thing almost six months ago, charged it up, and then I read in the manual, it's supposed to hold a charge in this for up to six months, and then you have to charge it again. That'll be a good test today to see if it actually is fully charged. I haven't even opened this yet, and if it will jump start. Battery right in, the positive and the negative. It's got this nice case that comes with it. So this is the actual, battery pack. I think if you click this it'll show how much battery is left. So it's showing it has a full battery and it comes with like um, USB ports here. There's a flashlight. I think if you hold down on the yep if you hold down on the power button there's a flashlight LED it flashes and it flashes different ways. The input and the output uh, power, and then the jumper cables go right there. So these are all just like accessory. You can plug in your phone, different USB plugins. There's a bunch of other power plugins for like, uh, I guess like a, a PC type laptop or not sure how much I'll use those. And then this is the actual charger for the main battery. You could also plug it into your DC port and charge it. All right, so the directions say to first connect the clamps to the battery without it being connected to the jump starter battery. So let's put the positive here, negative there. All right, now I'm gonna plug in jump starter. There's a green light that comes on right here. It says that the polarity is correct. Let's see if this thing starts. So I'm gonna put my foot on the brake. Hey. Back, Chief. That's a good sign. Let's pull the choke out a little bit. Yeah. Plug that in. Yeah, lawnmower. You just lawnmower all summer long. It's got a new battery as of February, and then as of three weeks or three days ago, uh, no start. Time to mow, no start. No sound, no response. So I uh, hooked it up to my car, tried to jump it off, and uh, nothing. So I was gonna go get a trickle charger from my dad, plug it up, but no need. So we just let it run for a little bit. We think the battery is... Yeah, it's cool. I w I'm still curious if there's something else. It's weird that it would have just drained. There's gotta be another variable in the equation, but we know that that charger works. So that's cool. When you were trying to start this before, did it just like, you turn the key and it was just like nothing? Yeah, yeah. Or was it or was it like trying to start? No, no. Uh, Are you sure that this the brake was all the way in? Uh, getting under here and like kinda clearing stuff out, thought oh, maybe there's some Um And the blade was the blade was disengaged. Yeah, the blade was disengaged. Does it have to be in it doesn't have to be in neutral, right? Because I started it in third. Yeah, that's weird. Even though it says on here that this is the positive side and this is the negative, it's actually opposite 
on the battery. One, because the black and the red, but you could say, you know, someone switched the cables, but when I plugged in the jump starter, it did say that it had the right polarity. So we know that this is indeed the positive side of the battery. And if you look right there, there's a plus positive left, left terminal. So it's just these plastic covers that are backwards. Good to know. So there you go, that's the XP10 micro start uh, jump kit. I don't want to give you a review that's like fake. Um, so I've had this thing for six months and this is the first time I've actually had to use it. And so I'm making a review video. It still has a full charge after jumping the lawnmower. I mean, it's a super small battery. I just wonder if there was something else going on. I mean, he did try to jump it with his car battery and it didn't start. I don't know. There might've been another variable in there, but uh, once I end up using this again, uh, I'll do another review and let you know how it is. But I would recommend this product. There's uh, an affiliate link down below if you want to buy it on Amazon. That's where I bought it. And it seems to have really good reviews. I looked through a bunch of different uh, jump starters online and that one had really great reviews and it was at a you know okay price. Um, there were definitely ones that were bigger that could jump like semi trucks and stuff like that. So check those out. But I would give it a, a 10 out of a 10 so far. And because it has a full charge still, I'm gonna not like put it on the charge for maybe another six months see if it holds it for a year i mean that's a long time you guys haven't seen this hat in a while if you're new to the channel push the subscribe button all the way in click the bell so you get notified when we post new videos and hit that thumb war button down below we'll see you in the next video hats off to you